My name is Felipe Jurjevic. I'm from Chile. Um, I work in customer experience and employee experience in different industries. I've been working for, in there for the last um, 12 years, um, measuring customer um, satisfaction and loyalty in different industries. Also, I've been doing a lot of empathy work and empathy training, leadership training. Um, I've been training at least 300 or 400 people in the last four months. And there's a lot of people working in their houses and, well, and not having clarity of their goals is a big problem. Um, and leaders not being um, there to say if they're doing or not doing their work is a big problem. You know, before you could, like, because everybody was in the office, leaders were supervising. Um, they were like on top of their employees. Now what's happening is that employees are by themselves in their houses and there is something that needs to be there, which is trust. Leaders need to trust in the capacity of their employees or their teams to achieve goals and that they're doing what's, what, 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 what's been asked for. And that's, one, that's something really important, like I need to trust in my team. And now um, it's not the amount of time you spend in the office, is that you do it in the time you think it's uh, possible and um, you have a goal to reach. That's one thing. Another thing is leaders need to give feedback. Leaders that do not give feedback, before it was okay, you could deal with it. Now if I don't give feedback as a leader. I don't. I can't let my um, team know where they're at with the goals I'm expecting. So um, what I've seen that leaders that are capable of giving continuous feedback to their teams um, have teams that are much less anxious. Because also this thing with the COVID, everybody's like jumpy because they don't know if they're going to get fired, if they're being underproductive, if they're being overproductive. So they're overworking. So having a leader that tells me, hey, you're doing well, you're achieving your goals, you're on the right track, that is perfect. So that was something that you could deal without, um, you could deal with not having it. Today is something we need to have um, as leaders. Otherwise, there's a high possibility of team burnout, people being really stressed, and, and, and engagement, you know? It's like this thing is, because people are in the house with their kids, with their families, and they're working a lot, you know, so, so this is something very important. Leaders need to be mindful of goals and feedback and, and trust. Then there's something extra that leaders need to be aligned with the company purpose and they need to inspire. And there is something really interesting because when, when, when like I don't go to work only because I get paid, I go to work because I want to make a contribution. And when I have the trust of my, employ my employer or my, or my boss, and I can see I can be accountable for my goals, you know, that inspires me to give much more, you know, in a sense that it's less training for me and more fulfilling for me and my relationship with the work. So it's a win-win situation, you know. It's like, uh, yeah, going from a more paternal way of leading to a much more um, empowering. So it's empowerment also, you know, and when we have organizations where, where people are empowered and they dare to take a risk, you know, um, because there's this trust that I'm being backed by my, my team members and my boss, um, people will do much more and they will run the extra mile for their customers and customers will be really satisfied. So I love to start from here, you know. I love the blueprint of the customer experience, the, 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 the credential, like um, the six different domains you work on. Um, it has given me more credibility, even though I had a lot of experience in the different industries. Um, now my customers say, oh, yeah, well, you're a CCXP, you know, and so that's, that's great, you know. They don't know much about that here in Chile, but the U.S. has uh, a good reputation about being 
customer oriented. We see companies that are very successful in in customer centric practices, and and you see that this uh, credential has given me, yeah, some solidity, some more um, validating my knowledge, you know, and it's been opening many doors right now. So I'm really happy of taking this 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 certification. Yeah, it's. Customer experience is growing here, um, and yeah, and it's there's there's more knowledge, more and more knowledge, you know, and and companies are starting to acknowledge that um, to see the the missing link of CX and return on investment. You know, I work a lot with the service profit chain, and when they see this connection, they say, "Wow, we need to." put our hearts here, you know, and, and what's great about it, it's humanizing work, you know, because it's about taking care of people and that's fantastic, you know, so I'm really inspired with it. <laughs> you can learn more about partnering levels, trust dynamics and smoothing silos and related topics in the Clear Action Value Exchange. This is an example of a solve space, an like interactive template the Clear Action Value Exchange shows customer intelligence stewards how to influence organizational agility, internal and external alignment, and stakeholder accountability at the interpersonal, department, and enterprise levels. An array of formats makes it easy to pop in and find nuggets of wisdom to elevate performance that will increase ease of doing business and ease of work. Join us today in the Clear Action Value Exchange.